Good afternoon, all. Welcome to our session. My name is Erin Abu Rahman, and my partner is. I'm Musab Banat. Uh, I am. I established education program in Jordan, 2015, and also uh, we both established the Jordanian Arabic Digital Arabic Content Association. Uh, that we will tell you in the next slide about it. Also, I'm a co-founder of the association. Uh, this association is uh, a unique and one of the first association that specialized in uh, the Arabic, digital Arabic content in Jordan and the Arab world. Yes, and also it belongs to the Ministry of Culture. Um, it aims to increase digital Arabic content and to support Arabic language, our mother tongue, and also to increase uh, our, uh, to expand our work to the universities and schools. This is the logo and you can find some information about us. We abbreviate it as Jadasa. Uh, this is a picture of the team. Uh, the team is as any organization contain a chair, which is me, and uh, a vice chair, uh, Arin, and uh, we have a treasurer and a secretary and other three uh, board members. So welcome to our um, Wikipedia education program for primary and uh, secondary schools in Jordan, where we empower the young girls uh, to, with knowledge and uh, uh, digital skills and transform them from learners to contributors. Exactly. So our objectives of our program is to, in, uh, is to uh, provide introduction to the online uh, resources, to introduce primary school girls uh, to, uh, to online resources, to teach them how to access and navigate information and how to edit Wikipedia for sure. And also, uh, uh, we give them basic research skills because, you know, in Wikipedia, usually uh, we, uh, we cite every sentence or every paragraph with a, with a source. Uh, so we teach them the basic uh, uh, skills of research and uh, how to gather information, how to find reliable source, and how uh, uh, to increase uh, the credibility of the articles. Also, uh, we try to choose uh, age um, convenient content in that uh, we are talking about the primary school girls. Usually we choose uh, very simple articles like colors, like numbers. There are numbers and colors that are not in Arabic Wikipedia. We give them to the students. They have their supervisor that help them to translate and uh, direct their efforts. Also, we aim from our program to uh, empower the, and uh, to, uh, to bridge the gender gap because uh, uh, this is a um, uh, primary school girls. Uh, we want to empower girls to get them to, in, uh, to contribute to Wikipedia because we always know that there is uh, a gap between uh, uh, articles about women and articles or, or women participation and also um, um, male participations. Uh, also, we aim to, collab uh, to, to uh, provide uh, collaborative learning, to promote collaboration among girls, engaging them in the projects, and also to um, uh, provide uh, them with uh, uh, many experiences. Um, as, as, as you might know also, Wikipedia encourages critical thinking. So uh, one of the skills that we teach our, um, uh, our school girls is uh, uh, the, de the development of critical thinking and giving them uh, the chance to ask to analyze and also to interact with each other. Um, also, uh, we want them to engage in the community by by uh, by introduce Wikipedia to them in that uh, in that uh, little age. Uh, if we if we go to them after three four years five years, then they have idea about Wikipedia. Uh, we uh, we implant this stub in their minds, a stub of wiki wiki stub in in their minds. Then we when we go to them later on, it's easier to to teach them how to to contribute effectively in Wikipedia. Uh, and also for, of course, at this uh, little age, uh, building confidence and self-esteem uh, is has a major role. And I, we will show you next in, in the photos how, how, how they are like um, influenced by our program. So why Wikipedia? Uh, as all, all of you know, Wikipedia is a platform for global contribution. Wh whenever, wherever you are, you can contribute. Uh, and because it is uh, offered the access to vast knowledge resources, learning through creating and editing um, uh, content, also posting confidence and digital confidence. 
Okay. Also, as uh, you know, um, school always about curriculum. So we try to introduce uh, Wikipedia and to uh, to make Wikimedia, uh, Wikipedia part of the curriculum. And um, also, editing Wikipedia article is accounted in our program as a participation for assessment of the of the teacher to the students. Uh, in that, the, we encourage students to uh, to explore their area of interest. Usually, are very very basic concepts. Uh, and also, uh, we try to uh, to to tell them how how to to collaborate with their with their peers. Okay. Uh, the benefits of our program is that it enhanced research skills, it improved writing and communication abilities, and, it, and uh, there is an enhancement of uh, level of education by introducing Wikipedia to it. Also, it is opportunity to contribute in the global community. This gives a value for our, uh, our students and also uh, self-esteem and empowerment of uh, uh, the girls. Um, there is also a long-term impact because their skill, the skill they are uh, acquiring in, this, in our program, uh, they will be uh, used in, in the future uh, when they contribute to Wikipedia again. Uh, overall, uh, education program in, in primary uh, schools uh, in Jordan offers a range of benefits. Uh, also, it supports uh, academic progress and also digital growth of our uh, students. Program uh, implementation. Uh, first of all, we, uh, we do um, teacher training, then we make workshops for students to learn them, uh, to teach them how to edit Wikipedia and the basics about Wikipedia and how to edit. Uh, then we provide them with online resources and make some tutorials. Also, after uh, this stage, uh, this um, step, we make a regular monitoring with the teachers and them and offer them the support. Uh, after, uh, uh, in the final stage, we make them engage with the community and other schools uh, and make um, uh, um, competition. competition yeah. Yeah. Okay, so encouraging diversity. By, uh, by encouraging school girls, we have a diverse uh, range of uh, contribution because usually our main work was at, uh, as a wiki club in two th that I founded in 2015 uh, that, that aims to increase Arabic content inside university. So our main students were university students. Now we are going to primary and secondary schools. So we encourage diversity. We include topics particular interest to the girls. We ask them to, uh, to go. We give them category and uh, like general category, they go, they find what they love to translate and uh, by this we address the gender gap bias and also uh, we encourage balancing the representation of uh, women in Wikipedia. Also we encourage parental involvement and I will move this to Arine. Yeah, uh, the parent support is very important, especially for girls. If your parents support you and um, you feel that they are um, Confident, uh, confident, have a conf um, confidence of you. You, uh, it's encourage you to um, learn more and create more articles. So in our program, uh, we um, uh, give a special, um, uh, special um, thanks. Thanks and appreciate for parents. Uh, in our in our association, uh, after the uh, student like. Um, as you see, um, finished their articles. We published the article uh, on our um, association page, social media, and write in Arabic. It's it, um, it said in Arabic article from uh, done by um, Tala uh, by Tala from the, six, the sixth grade. So uh, when we share it on Facebook, their parents and uh, um, um, someone uh, the they know yeah, yeah share it on their facebook pages and uh, it's uh, encouraged them and we notice the number of articles increased Yes, by because time. it is yeah. kind of encouragement because uh, these photos that you see is shared by their parents. They give it to us, please boast about us, and then it starts to be competitive between, uh, between students. They, they want to be presented and they want to be shared and they want their, their relatives and peers to see, to see what, uh, what they contribute. Uh, so our achievement is, is that uh, we have engaging uh, two private schools in Jordan and one governmental school. And there is some particular thing about this governmental school that I will tell you in, uh, in the coming slide. We have created the MOU with, uh, uh, two, with the, one of the prestigious universities. It is called Al-Umariya, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, school called Umariya School. It's a private school that has two branches, one in the capital Amman and one in the Zarqa. It's, it's, it's uh, mainly for girls. And we 
we had collaboration with uh, this uh, school. Uh, we reached more than 60 students. Most of them are primary and secondary school. Uh, we created 200 different articles by, by those students, and they are editing more than 500 articles. So this is an overview about our partnership. Arin, uh, can you handle this? Yeah, uh, the Omeria School for Girls is a private school. Our uh, hero monitor is uh, Amani Zaiter. Yes. Uh, the another one, um, private school, Ohod School, it's uh, the, our monitor, Hanadi Marwan, and the governmental school, uh, our, our hero monitor is uh, Hana Zaytar. Yes, so uh, the, the middle one is the governmental school. Uh, Amani Zaytar and Hana Zaytar are, are sisters, both sisters. We started with Amani and then it comes viral. Uh, her sister would like to move it to uh, the governmental school. Uh, then we are like now uh, uh, working with two of them. And this is the signing of Memorandum of Understanding. Uh, 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 Muhammad al qinna a Wikipedian part of our association, uh, represent us in this uh, signing, Memor uh, Memorandum of Understanding. And this is uh, some photos from our uh, participation with Omaria School. You can see the certificates uh, that has Wikipedia logo, Hashimite University logo, our club logo, and you can see the association uh, logo in the background. Uh, this is the Omaria private school that we told you about. Yeah. This is also in the ceremony okay. of the Omaria school. You can uh, see okay. uh, the students uh, and uh, me and Arian also. Uh, this is also part of the photos from the ceremony. And if possible, can you open uh, the links? The, the students are talking about their experience. We want to show you. Hi, my name is Sarah Asfour. I participated in a Wikipedia competition to translate articles that is organized by the Digital Arabic Content Club. Initially, I created a Wikipedia account, then I started picking the articles that I wanted to translate, and since then I started translating them. I have translated around 30 articles. Translating articles in this manner typically required a time of approximately 15 to 30 minutes. The percentage of articles on the internet was elevated by the initiative. Ultimately, this campaign proved to be highly beneficial for both myself uh, and uh, for my vocabulary and my ability to expand my knowledge, as well as for teaching me how to sign up and how to publish my material. Thank you all. Okay. Uh, the next one, please. Thank you. And then next. Thank you, Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Irene Hanoun and I'm from Amriya School. And today, I'm going to talk about the alternative of translating articles. Our creative educator, Aman Zayater, has put forward on alternative to translate articles from English to Arabic, with the goal of enriching the Arabic content. And she taught us the basics and how to edit and publish our articles on the internet. And we as Arabs, we face a serious problem of the lack of websites in Arabic. So this initiative has helped us to separate the uh, Arabic knowledge and the Arabic culture. And thanks for listening. The next one, please. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the conference of the best online encyclopedia in the world, Wikipedia. I'm Zina Debshe. I'll soon start my junior year at Maria School and would like to present to you one of our most honorable achievements of this year, which is translating Wikipedia's English articles that aren't translated yet into Arabic. It all started when I saw a post on my school's page on Facebook talking about this whole thing. I immediately knew this wouldn't be a chance that I'll turn down. So I started with booking my first articles to trying to translate as many of them as I could. It isn't a competition between us students, but it makes you feel so when somebody beats you with the number of articles they've reached. With all the cheering from our teacher, Mr. Manizator, you know you couldn't stop competing. Besides improving your skills at both languages, it's also the feeling of you becoming a member of Wikipedia. Moreover, translating an article from one language to another for the upcoming generations makes your own name becomes a thing. Neither any of this would be achieved today, nor you would see me now if it wasn't for teacher Amani Zaiter, who cheered us the most, helped us a lot, checking in with us on every single article we've finished, taking our hands on every single step of the ladder of the success she'd built, arranged for me to be here now, 
and who was, is, and will always be there for us. Thank you, Mr. Manizator, and thank you, Wikipedia. Okay. Let's go back to slides. Yeah. Thank you. So as a conclusion, our Wikipedia education program is a unique opportunity for primary school girls to uh, excel, learn, and make positive impact. Together, we can empower the next generation of confident, um, knowledgeable, and uh, digitally skilled girls. Uh, you can find here my contacts. Uh, you can find our social media, media pages um, uh, that you can reach out, and also you can see the pictures, photos, and the contribution of the school girls. Uh, thank you very much. And the thank last you. thing that I want to mention, thank you, thank you. The last thing that I want to mention is is, is um, a, a nice fact. Yesterday, um, as my, some of our, my Arab friends know, uh, the, there was announcement of the uh, 12th grade GPA, uh, which is like the final step before going to university. One of the students that were translating with us, uh, the, the photo just came yesterday, so that I cannot present now, but I can show it after the presentation. She got the first rank on all over the country. She had like 99.8. Uh, she is participating with us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. If anyone has a question. Yes, please uh, raise your hand. Okay, so I'm working on the education in my country and uh, also working in other places. So I have three short questions. The first one is, uh, you know, uh, when we work with students, the students edit uh, Wikipedia articles, uh, the quality is an issue. So what are the, uh, it is in Arabic Wikipedia, right? So what uh, are the uh, community's perspective towards this, uh, like the quality of the articles created by these primary school students? And how do you maintain it? That, that's the first one. Second one is the, uh, when you do these types of uh, education programs, uh, due to low awareness about Wikipedia in the uh, countries, the education institutions and teachers are very much reluctant at first. So how do you tackle it? Uh, because the situation is very much different from our South Asia and uh, Middle East. And the third question is, since you're working with very uh, younger children, safety is always an issue because Wikipedia is an open place. Wikipedia is an open place. How do you ensure safety with these uh, young people? Do you have any special plan with that? Okay, thank you for the question. For first question, uh, if I remember it correct, it was about uh, uh, how the quality of the articles. Okay, quality of the articles is always an issue in, in all Wikipedia versions. So, uh, so for, uh, for this particular question, uh, the thing that we are trying to do is that uh, two step of uh, quality assurance. The first one is that we try to use the very, very basic concept when, when giving article to girls. As I told you, usually there are numbers because you know there's a wide range of numbers that is not uh, has not um, articles on Arabic Wikipedia. Also, there is about colors. So usually, it's very very basic concepts. This is the first thing that we do. Also, their tutor, though their instructor, is um, actually has a master degree in biology. Uh, she is very well qualified, but because of lack of jobs in uh, my country, she's working at primary school. So uh, she is reviewing their articles, uh, and there is a third uh, layer of review, which is our uh, part. We review articles in Wikipedia before publishing. This. this is how we can manage the quality. But still, you know, when it is like um, sometimes it's, we are talking now about primary schools, uh, we have also university school, uh, school uh, university, sorry, students. So uh, sometimes there is some, you know, some articles that can like inter uh, that come through without uh, very good quality review. But this is not a big percentage of our education program. For the second question, which is like, um, if I remember correct, it was about the safety issue. Okay, so that's why we encourage parental, you know, parental um, support and parental, let's say, mon monitorship, because they monitor what tra what kind of articles the, the students are tra translating, uh, what is the, you know, the extent of engagement in uh, in their online activities. Also, they have their instructor, as I told, uh, which also, uh, she's very careful. This is a private also school. The private school also have very good administration. Uh, they try to, you know, give the best, um, uh, you know, uh, practice to the girl. So, in general, we, uh, we didn't think uh, safety is an issue because even in our club, 
uh, we try to uh, to take the articles from their parents or the photo from their parents uh, or the university administration not not direct contact with the students uh, for the third question you told me how we tackle the uh, the problems like with with the universities okay this is uh, this is a long story uh, but uh, to make the short story shorter it, it is that uh, we approached this it is was a long approach since 2015 i was speaking with the professors uh, in my university until uh, 2020 when i graduated then i established this association so it was a long journey i, I started convincing uh, teachers starting convincing professors and also talking to in the classrooms then the university administration got to to, to you know uh, to be persuaded by by my thoughts and then they invited me to the dean council i give a talk i got a decision from dean council to to uh, to public my uh, to make my uh, initiative public all over the universities university faculties around 18 faculties and then i invited the uh, chief executive uh, director of wikimedia foundation catherine maher she came to my university uh, we signed a memorandum of understanding between wikimedia foundation and uh, and hashimite university in jordan and it's actually will be expired by next october so we are thinking of renewing it in order to uh, to to preserve our work because it is a, it is a, a common thing that in in our part of the world if if the administration uh, administration of the university changes then the previous projects uh, will be stopped that's why we don't want our projects to be stopped we want it to be expanded i hope answer the question thank you very much for attending